Okay, we need to go ahead and have a very, very important discussion about PSO2 right now, since I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard the news of what happening with PSO uh, when they come to the brand new anti-cheat system that they put in play that is obviously not great. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the stuff that you need to know about this and why, as of now, I highly highly avoid to probably if you have the ability to switch to another platform for pso if you want to continue playing but before we get into all of this and before we get to the press i do want to give a, a big thank you to everybody that is supporting over on a patreon.com slash mac on uh, subscribing over on twitch.tv slash troy mac on and of course everyone who hit the wonderful join button here uh, to keep all the PSO and MMO content coming your way. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my dudes. And let, let get very depressed on this. So to start off here, this is coming uh, from a Sega directly uh, from the official website. At dating on November 4th, they are going to be starting the Switch over to a, a brand new anti-malware cheat system uh, made by Aurelaba. Uh, probably just butcher that name, but nonetheless, it will be in thought uh, doing that update. And of course, when it comes to how they're going to roll out, is of course the window and epic versions are going to be getting it forth on the 4th of November, with the theme version coming the following week on the 6th of November, uh, doing that update. And when it comes uh, to what this system is, and how they're going to operate and how they do in the rollout here is the court they at data down here. You can still change of what version of anti-cheat you are launching with from the launcher or by a court going into your platform and game launcher info. Uh, but with that being said, this is one of them cases where this is obviously made to fight cheaters and other hackles and whatnot in the game itself. Uh, which is a little iffy since we're still going to be using uh, the same original version as well. Or you're going to be able to flip between it. I imagine this is probably not going to last long. It could be a TED. It could be a contract thing. We don't know. And of course, if you haven't paid attention to social media over the last little bit when it comes to this update. You will know you probably seen many tweets like this. And the fan base is not happy about this at all. And especially any more so uh, with the Zenit Code 3 announcement being tied to all this, uh, which is a, a cheat system that been put into play into a few other games in the past, such as Black Desert, uh, PUBG uh, Mobile, as well as a couple other Asian and Korean games. And of course, there have been many, many problems with it for pretty much since the beginning here when it comes to this if you want a more like in-depth like history lesson on all of this i highly highly check out a critical cattle q video on this since he did a fantastic job uh diving into the history of this company as well as the program itself so i will have a link in the description for that check that video out for all of that but let's go ahead and get into some of the stuff here that is honestly the real a problem when it comes uh, to the anti-cheat system is of course how this operate which is not that much distant than a few other uh, anti-cheat program uh, such as the one that you in battle in uh, but this is of course going to be installed on your pc at a corner level with for anyone who probably not a well for all two of you is of course mostly this is the court allowing the operation or the program to actually change stuff on your pc down to pretty much the corner level or the highest level of security inside your pc uh, so of course when it comes to the anti-cheat like i said a lot of them use it not gonna you know sidetrack that at all uh, which is a problem but also the main reason for that is because a lot of cheat program do the exact same thing but that still don't make too warm white heel ascent though is a lot of stuff uh, that can go warm when you start getting into program that get to that degree of hot duty over your uh, pc and of course what will come from it for a security reason since obviously with something that much in depth obviously needs some of the best security known to man and well i think you can all figure out how that kind of goes so that is our fourth step here of why a lot of people are very upset with this 
with a course what come from it as well which is of course how the actual performance of the game operate from it uh since there's been something that been have talked about over many years now over on reddit metaball forms uh theme pages and so on uh pretty much any time uh, this uh company version of anti-cheat get in thought this also take a big performance hit to your game at will so if you already have an issue of wanting a pso on like minimum facts or low uh, this have a very high possibility to hit it any harder uh, which will make the game pretty much unplayable for a large majority of players out there and any if you have a decent pc or top of the line pc this it deal very much a, a down hit to your performance and which in return as we all know from a lot of pc players performance is everything here and not only that is of course with this system of being in thought which is the part that honestly i'm like mm, i don't know about this is a court tied to the performance overall so the biggest thing about uh, this uh install is of course how it operate it begin pretty much as soon as you start your pc up so this does not start when you launch the game and do not end when you quote the game off uh, so this is a program that will always be running in the background as well as not only a sense it designed to look for certain programs and applications and install uh, to flag as being pretty much hacks it will also do that any if you're not playing the game which in return that bring up whole issue with compatibility for certain other games other programs doing certain things on your pc and in return with it being a thing is it having to constantly connect and gather data on you up to 48 hours at any given point here so in return not only is it a lot of information gathering for all you who worry about that stuff but also since it's running in the background you will start seeing performance hit to your pc overall don't get me wrong the higher end your pc is maybe less noticeable but for anyone, once again, on the lower mid range side, this is something that could very much impact your system, depending on how your system is set up. And then on top of that is when it comes to the program as well, is of course a whole issue of players in least other game. We will see if this happens in PSO. We will find out. But a little note that have happened in previous games, such as Black Desert and other games as well, is of course the game or the operation since it's constantly checking any of you playing the game or not playing the game is of course if they find anything that is fine to be against the rules that you know sega and the company put in place that could also get your account banned without any playing fantasy thoughts so you could uninstall fantasy star go about your life and then come back month later and find out you are banned which in return also play into all your jp players out there because what the other thing they're going to be doing is of course double checking uh, your uh, vpn setting your internet setting and how you are connecting as well as that not only is for all you once again who play jp and go to a vpn there is now uh, any more higher chance that that program might be a red flag for your account and in return, get you suspended or banned. So this is another issue for you that do that. As well as, of course, any of you who uh, play a true, like, tweaker or use any of the shading program, like, God forbid, like, we shade. Uh, that is another thing that could also uh, hit a red flag for the system as well. We want to wait and see if that ends up being, like, fully decayed for PSO. Uh, since we only have other games and affiliate to go off of here. But this is another thing to at least keep in mind when it comes uh, to that program itself. And then we have another kicker here, which is a court for anybody that will have to uninstall the game. We install it later or just want to get rid of the program at all here. And you might be wondering like, okay, if I uninstall the game, will all this go away? And the answer is, well, no because how this system works since it's so intrusive 
is files and drivers will actually stay on your PC to a point that any of the developers of the program and the fat answer questions actually talks about that. So as stated, they say, uh, what should I do uh, when a Xeon, a Xeon, Xeon code, however pronounced, three, uh, related registry files and driver uh, remain any after deleting the game client and our answer here pretty much board down uh, to download a separate program from them directly uh, to run it to then we move the programs uh, so as you can see this is the whole thing and i know any before this there was a whole like like if you look up videos here on youtube you will find many videos showing how to go into your registration of your pc and go through a very convoluted process to uninstall this stuff uh, which is very dangerous to your pc and i highly don't recommend it well you absolutely know what you are doing uh, but they ended up making a program to make it where you can uninstall it and you know it's bad if you got to have a separate program uh, to do this. And it's very much at the top of the page itself. For me, this is honestly just way too much for my own uh, safety and my own uh, comfort level as well here. Uh, I get the registration on like the corner level. Uh, but the main thing of worry on my end is the court performance wise as well as the court the performance hit outside of the game itself and honestly like i do not need to have pc problems right now we don't have the luxury of being able to get stuff fixed easily so for me this is honestly not worth to take a chance uh to play a pso2 especially once again since pso2 are available on other platforms and once again this is not me saying to uninstall the game and stop playing forever this is me just more like giving you guys some basic information of what happening as well as what have happened in the past with it program and of course if you once again have the ability to play the game on ps5 or fbox i know the console version the lead last time i played it is you know a little iffy when it comes to like load times and windowing uh, but with that being said i haven't actually tried to pf5 version so hopefully that version is better uh, but with that being said i would still highly advise going to another platform if you possibly can uh, once again they did state it could be something that will roll out later on on consoles as well uh, but personally maybe maybe this is just me uh, but i feel like uh having anti-cheat early on console is a little less um i get impactful at all like on my pc itself so that is just my two cents on this you all do what you're gonna do but be careful out there keep an eye on the situation i will let you guys know we do got a headline stream uh coming up in the next few days which i will be covering here on youtube so make sure to do thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss that and hopefully by the time that headline stream happens uh since i know it should be being recorded probably today tomorrow or so hopefully sega would take a bat debt from this but let be will heal uh when have sega really listen to the fan bait to begin with in a lot of situations and i highly doubt uh this is something they're gonna backtrack on anytime soon uh so i get we will see come on hawaii do your thing and get it removed and uh let your stick with what we got because you know not like this program will stop cheat or hackle since there is so many easy walk arounds as once again do any google search on this you will see hundreds of way to bypass this all together to make it just useless and when it comes to this stuff the only people that actually hurt by this is of course normal consumers that have no real interest in any of this so we will see what happened but either way more than likely this is it for me on pc it was a night one pso I'm sorry about that video being a little bit of a downer but honestly this is information everyone need to know about and uh hopefully that video will be a little more peppy finger quotes uh but to then i guess i will go ahead and see you in the comments also once again go watch capital video on this if you want more detail link in the description do it